back again at the Wyoming Basic Guitar Expo. I'm here with LH McCurdy Instruments, and so we're gonna go over to some of the instruments they have, and these actually look really cool. Hello, oh, Bass Brothers. Uh, my name is Leslie McCurdy, LH McCurdy Basses. I have a couple of instruments here to show you. This is a early fretless that I built. It's my only used instrument here right now. You can see this is a Macassar Ebony with maple inserts, and I allow them to color naturally and darken. This is a redwood top. It has a very beautiful uh, patina, if you want to call it that, as you move it along. Shines. The back and the neck, it's a set neck, as you can see in this prop here. It's a heelless design. And they're both made out of mahogany. This also has a detuner. And uh, the previous owner added a badass bridge, uh, which he, um, yeah, well, it's what he wanted, so that's what we put on. And he found it for us, actually. And there it is. Very beautiful. This one here is a five string. This is spalted maple top. Tortoise pick guard. And here you can see the mahogany back quite clearly. Oh wow. You know? Guys, look at that, Nick. Yeah. Mahogany back. All the hardware is hip shot, including the bridge and the ultralight tuners. This one is string through because it was ordered as such. Uh, but I'm here to tell you that it makes no significant difference in sound. Yeah. If anything, it weakens the string. So I probably shouldn't tell people that, but, <laughs> but this bridge has the option also of going straight through. And uh, the pickups are Thunderbuckers. They're made by a gentleman in uh, Oregon. And you can go to Thunderbucker Ranch they're a little bit pricey, and he only makes them when you order them. He has nothing in stock. He'll make them custom for you. They're essentially a very hot version of a 60s Thunderbird pickup. And awesome. they're very sensitive to placement. Uh, you would be amazed at how barky this bass can get. You would think it was more fenderish. Yeah. And over here, I have basically my standard design. It's called a broadside. Again, maple top. Back and neck. Uh, this is the new version of the hip shot bridge, which I recommend highly. It's beautiful. It's their version of the badass bridge, but it's more badass than the badass, firstly because you can get your hands on it, and it's much more adjustable. You think I work for them? No. <laughs> maybe, maybe now I will. I have a single stacked knob, tone and volume. They're all passive. Now, Want a preamp? That can always be done. If you want two pickups, that can also be done. But my preference is simplicity. If I could, if I would have thought of it earlier, I would have called myself a distiller of bases as opposed to a maker of bases. And here you see the joint, set neck joint, heelless design. You can go right up. You can go way past. So my tendency is not to use screws for the pick guards. Yeah. I put them on just like an acoustic pick guard, the same kind of adhesive. Less holes in the body, simplicity. Again, distilling the instrument to its essence. And I make a volute right here. This is a scarf joint to strengthen it, and I also put the volute in there to strengthen it even more. That should not break, ever, unless you do something really stupid, <laughs> which bass players never do, of course. We're not drummers. No, <laughs> that's awesome. Forgive me, buddies. <laughs> no worries. So anyway, that's the long and short of it. I'm in New York. L.H. McCurdy Bases, lhmccurdybases.com. And uh, just contact me and see if we can do anything for you. I'd be happy to just talk. And if you're in the area, you can always come up and have some coffee or a beer. Awesome. All right? Thank you. All right, guys. So I do. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Anyways, guys, that was L.H. McCurdy Instruments. And again, we're going to go over all this stuff later and with sound examples. But enjoy, guys.